वन वेलकम टू द नीट पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन पैटर्न क्वेश्चन सो दिस क्वेश्चन आई हैड गिवन यू इन माई रिसेंट क्वेज ऑन टेलीग्राम ग्रुप ऑल्सो सो लेट एस सी हाउ वी कैन गो विद दिस क्वेश्चन हेयर यू हैव अ थर्टी फाइव ईयर मैन ओके हु इज प्रेजेंटिंग विद ऑक्यूलर पेन पेन इन द रेस्ट एंड द फीट pain on urination and aphthous ulcers so we have got a male okay young male or a middle aged male you can say which is having so many things so if you start interpreting we are having ocular pain so if i am having the ocular pain i am having a acute condition it uh, it could be a glaucoma it could be a uveitis so something like that i am thinking about along with this we have got pain in the wrist as well as feet so this is giving you an evidence of the arthritis a patient who is having the arthritis then you have got pain on urination so this could be your urethritis are you able to comprehend we are having the history of suggestive of arthritis history suggestive of urethritis then you also have aphthous ulcers so you have got oral ulcers you have got also oral ulcers now let us see ahead ocular examination is significant because you have got a mucopurulent conjunctival uh, mucoid conjunctival discharge and a cellular reaction in the anterior chamber now can you see we have got a discharge in the conjunctiva so that clearly shows that you have got a conjunctivitis also so i think now the uh, the diagnosis is becoming more clearer because uh, with the which condition you are expecting this arthritis urethritis with the oral ulcers with the conjunctivitis obviously it is uveitis and they are specifically saying that there is a reaction in the anterior chamber you are also having the reaction in the anterior chamber then you also have a peculiar skin lesions so you are having some autoimmune etiology okay or some autoimmune etiology which is very very common along with the uveitis and uh, you are having the inflammation in nearly um, so many places we have arthritis urethritis you have got oral ulcers you have got uh, dermatitis also so which of the following findings would not be expected in this patient now first of all can you tell me how will you make the diagnosis here what are the things you have to think so uh, i uh, always say that whenever you are actually uh, encountering this uh, uveitis along with arthritis do we have a list there yes recently we had a integrated session on the uveitis and spondyloarthropathies also there was a peers yes so what are the things i'm going to um, rely upon i can have the ankylosing spondylitis i can have this okay but uh, ankylosing spondylitis will uh, not have uh, involvement of the feet and the wrist it will more probably have the spine involvement right and uh, it does not have the conjunctivitis so let us go to the other options we may also think about the ritter syndrome so second one is your ritter syndrome now what is the triad of the ritter syndrome we have got uh, urethritis then we have got arthritis urethritis arthritis and the conjunctivitis see most of the things are there with or without uveitis with or without uveitis we have this so that means it is a kind of ritter syndrome where you are having urethritis you are having arthritis also you are having conjunctivitis also and you are having the uveitis also so it could be a case and both of them are hla b27 cases and both of them are a cases of hla b27 rest we can also think about psoriasis we can think about inflammatory bowel disease i'll not think about the juvenile chronic arthritis here because the age is more than 16 years so which of the following findings is not expected what you are not expecting in this patient so can you see number a is balanitis obviously uh, in cases of ritter syndrome we can have balanitis we can even have prostatitis so that contains the inflammation in nearly every organ then you have got a recent history of diarrhea yes we can have a recent history of the diarrhea 
it could be a case of inflammatory bowel disease uh, where we are uh, having all these things we can have the uveitis we can have the arthritis along with the inflammatory bowel disease it could be ulcerative colitis it could be a crohn's disease also then option number d positive rheumatoid factor now answer is obviously no why I, it cannot be a rheumatoid factor because you know that um, uh, when it comes to uveitis and arthritis it is actually common in the zero negative spondyloarthropathies so we are suspecting the zero negative and what is the zero negative it is actually the absence of the rheumatoid factor so we are not having any rheumatoid factor yes it could be hla b27 we can think about the patients there we have got the hla b51 present uh, it could be um, a case of inflammatory bowel disease it could be a case of psoriatic arthritis but uh, definitely it won't show you a positive rheumatoid factor so if you look at this question it is an excellent you know merge kind of a question where you are having little bit of ophthalmology little bit of derma little bit of uh, orthopedics um, you are having the integration with the uh, micro petho and um, even the medicine is there and um, they haven't asked you particularly any of these things they have just asked you about the rheumatoid factor so i think these kind of questions are expected in your neat pg 2021 where you will be tested the basic fundamental knowledge about a particular disease and um, most of the places you won't be able uh, to make out that which subject question is this so i hope you are enjoying with me solving the neat pattern 2021 questions thank you and happy ophthalmology